Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Tony's LPs Are Us. As you can see from the title page, I'm going to talk about a Beatle compilation that I don't think in the last 20, 30 years has gotten the love that it deserves, no pun intended. And that's the Beatles compilation, Love Songs. Uh, this record was released in America on October 21st, 1977. I remember I was actually working in a record shop at that time. It was a big hoopla about that. We had a lot of uh, promo, you know, type of posters that came in to uh, to flag the shop and things like that. The Beatles were uh, you know, a defunct band for like the last, you know, say eight, eight, eight or nine years at that point. But the interest was always there. And Capital came up with this great compilation. It's a double record. And I'm going to show you the cover. It's a fake leather. This is embossed gold foil. It's mastered by Capital on the American. This is Capital American. It re was released, I guess, around the same time in the UK on par Parlophone. And there's the inside sleeve right there. And it's Richard Avedon's uh, 67 portrait of them that was featured in Look Magazine around that time. And if you notice, the they've actually re-edited it. I think the original one, the Beatles were not in this position, and it kind of has uh, John and Paul in the forefront. Here's the spine. This is my copy from 1977. It has a, uh, a luscious look to it. It has that you know, fake leather. Uh, this record was actually deleted from the catalog in 1980, and I don't believe it was re, uh, reissued. I know there's a Japanese uh, edition out there I've seen online. Here are the inner sleeves, like on a parchment paper. Very nice, and there's the title tracks on here. The song tracks, there's the logo from the cover. Here is... Side one. And this has about an hour of music on the four sides. Uh, Yesterday, I'll Follow the Sun, I Need You. And these are all originally from the American releases, as far as I know. Um, the Long and Winding Roads on here, This Boy, Norwegian Wood, This Bird Has Flown, You've Got to Hide Your Love Away, I Will, P.S. I Love You. And what's cool, it has the dates that they were released. But we're not finished yet. It also has a very beautiful booklet on like a parchment paper. And on the back, it says Calligraphy, Matthew uh, Monahan, I believe, EMI Limited. And Matt Monahan is responsible for the beautiful calligraphy of all the titles of each and every song in this compilation. Uh, it's a very, very heavy paper. Like I said, it's like a parchment paper. It gives you the credits and it gives you the beautiful lyrics stapled together. So a really nice set. But let me talk about the record and I'll show you the vinyl as well. These were mastered by Capital. I'm not sure if there was ever a Wally stamp but at that time, Wally Tarragate was actually uh, stamping records for, for Master Capital. But this uh, is just mastered by Capital. And you can see that. Um, just as a uh, footnote, there was originally a uh, 45 that was going to be issued to promote the record. It was, I believe, 4506. It was A side was girl. B side was you're going to lose that girl. Some picture sleeves were printed, but then it was canceled. And you could find picture sleeves online that go for a pretty fair penny. And it's the, the online um, 45 picture sleeve is this cover of the album. So it's really cool. It has girl, and then it has the B side. Here is the other LP. This is a VC channel, so we're going to show the label, especially Beatles stuff. 
And the reason I brought this up is I was going through some of my new Beetle remasters, the red and blue, et cetera. And as you can see, a beautiful copy. And I think they're about 25 minutes total. So it's uh, 50 minutes for the whole record or around that time. So the tracks really sound great. I, I believe and a few friends of, of mine that are Beatle guys, Beatle aficionados, I'd say, more so than me, uh, still contend that these are one of the best sounding Beatle compositions for any Beatle songs. Um, I would I would stack these up against any of the modern remixes from uh, Revolver, Let It Be, uh, Abbey Road, you know, etc. Uh, what's funny about this record is it's it has it uses different uh, versions of songs. It has a um, a, a unique three songs which are unique using a duophonic that capital kind of invented in like the 70s and 80s to turn mono records into something that simulated a stereo it's like stereo reprocessed for stereo capital had come out with duophonic so you can look that up online and it talks about it it was basically a train name and it's an audio signal that processed mono recordings for reissues and, re and new releases if it was a mono reissue or mono release and they wanted to have a, a like a kind of fake stereo it's like a it's like a fake mock stereo so what they did was they had the mono recording and then they would delay a signal and it would have a stereo effect nothing like true stereo but the songs that were that were used the mono uh, effects are let me see here. Uh, yes, it is. This boy and P.S. I love you were duophonic mixes. And this boy, I still get the chills just thinking about how good that sounds with John's voice coming out and just the stereo separation, which is really not stereo separation. It's a duophonic separation. It's just uh, remarkable. Also, as a footnote on this record, the left and right stereo channels have been reversed from the original recordings. So that's even something that Beatle people can debate over. Um, it's not pure, but I'm telling you, you know, pick up this album. It's a double album. It's been deleted since, I believe, 1980. I don't believe they. it's been reissued. Possibly some countries have gotten uh, copy tapes and, and had, a, had permission to reprocess it and re-release these records i know like i said um i believe i said there's japanese uh love songs out there but this is just a uh an amazing sound and compilation you you cannot go wrong with this compilation uh gold foil really nice right there as you can see and there's the abaddon's portrait from 67 uh, U.S., this is a U.S. Capitol. There's a Parlophone, which I have never seen in the flesh. You don't really see these in the wild. You may see them at a used record shop once in a while, but I'm sure they go pretty fast. So one of the best-sounding Beatle records that I own, and we've always said that, it has uh, great sonics, great acoustics, very vibrant. You, um, you could actually... The guitar on this boy, the uh, acoustic guitar has come out like really perfect on this. It rivals any reissue. It's perfect. It's clear. The sound stage is clear. And what's funny is the tracks that I seem to think really sound good are some of the duophonics, the uh, This Boy and P.S. I Love You, you know, things like that. This uh, record spans songs from 62 to 70. So it's the entire Beatle catalog. And it came out on October 21st, so uh, 77. It wasn't really, you know, like a Valentine's Day reissue or a, uh, I guess it was in time for Christmas in, you know, 77. It went three times platinum in the U.S., I believe, platinum in the U.K. as well, maybe one or two times platinum in the U.K. But the flow is really nice. It just has good acoustics. I believe it's never been reissued. It's just a beautiful, I love this album. I always talk about this album with uh, my Beatle, my Beatle friends. There's a, you know, you guys know who you are out there and um, highly recommend it. 
Highly recommend it. Hasn't been reissued. I believe it emanated as an American release. Uh, Parlophone has a copy. It has a, an issue as well. I can't be for certain if the tracks are the same because I've never seen one. I didn't really uh, see any online that were from the UK. But there it is. Beatles love songs. Uh, when you get a chance, check it out. And there's the tracks if you want to see the tracks. But highly recommend it. Just, uh, just an amazing sounding record on my system. I think it sounds great. And on pre I've probably, since I've got this record, listened to it on, I, I would say, no, no less than six different systems that I've owned. Uh, systems when I meant different amplifiers, different speakers, turntables in my system now. It just sounds awesome. Uh, but it's an unbelievable sounding record. So check it out. Here's the spine. And um, you'll see a lot of them online with uh, ringware. It tends to get ringware because of this uh, fake leather cover on here. It's just cardboard, but it's fake leather cardboard. And, of course, again, you have um, the parchment paper inners. And you have a really really nice booklet so if you do purchase this online remember that it comes with an insert booklet and i would always i would stress that you would want to get this booklet even if you um you don't have to spend a little more money you would want to get this booklet i'm not sure um you know what the different variations are with prices but you know these things th this is what gets lost the inner sleeves are what or what gets lost but you would want this, and my uh, wax has mastered by capital. So um, 77 went to about 80. I'm not sure about later pressings, but the originals were mastered by capital. Really sounds good. So thanks a lot. Um, really appreciate you coming in. Please subscribe to the channel. Please like. really helps us out. And uh, we'll keep rocking. We'll try to keep you uh, informed on content that I like and hopefully that you like as well. So. Thanks a lot. Stay safe, and we'll see you later. Tony's LPs are us signing out. Thanks. Bye-bye.